evil blanket fish has awoken. <laughs> We are live once again. Looks like everything's coming through. And we are continuing with Omori for our Monday morning game. Of course, the... Just keep watching. Honestly, I haven't watched it either because I played the game. So I don't even know what you're watching. Days left. There's no one in the playground. So I'm guessing there's only one way we can go that doesn't have fog in it. Omori, you're here. I'm so glad you found me. Kel, Aubrey, Hiro, and all the children are gone. There's a thick fog enveloping the entire forest. Everywhere except here. Maybe our friends are somewhere across the water. Let's find them together. Do you want to join me? Sure. Thanks, little brother. I knew I could count on you. I'll keep you company so you're not alone. I know you really hate that. I'm trying to remember, did we already conquer his fear of the water last time? Doesn't quite look like it. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You're no longer afraid of drowning. Oh, if only phobias were that easy to get over. Hey, Ragna, how you doing? I don't think I can even interact with anything while I'm swimming. Okay, so it looks like we're just on a set path.
I mean, they kind of they kind of switch back and forth with no rhyme or reason between happy and disturbing. How you doing, Webon? Okay, I guess seeing that thing there was a one-time event. And for someone who was afraid of drowning all this time, he's a really strong swimmer. He hasn't gotten tired at all. Poor photo. It's barely holding itself together. Like everybody but her was... I'm guessing that's the parents, and then Omori is a little kid, so everybody but Mari was scratched out. The question is, who scratched him out? much of a view when it's all just water and clouds. Mori, I'm so proud of you. You swam all the way here, even though you've always been terrified of water. It's still one big thing you're afraid of, isn't there? Something a little bit harder to overcome. Shadows bullying each other. Seriously though, who made this pier? This is a whole lot of unnecessary wood being used. 
Amori, it seems that you've forgotten something important. Are you okay with that? I'm not too sure. You've seen this curtain once before. The last time we went to the lake. This is my stop, though. I know I shouldn't have come. It just gets a little lonely without everyone. It's not my place to stay anymore, but I hope you're still there. Sonny, I really miss you. Goodbye, little brother. supposed to go up or down I'm guessing his last fear is being alone Please get better. Thank you, bye. hey Irby how you doing and the red pony welcome to the stream as well I don't think that was one of the ones I needed. Because I already figured out what the message is. I don't. Actually, no, maybe. Yeah, M was one of them. Because the message was Welcome to Black Space. So we do. There, there is an M in there. Uh, yeah, let's see what's over here first. Ah, shit, I should have gone through the hole. I don't know if I can go back. The hell did the, where'd the hole go? Webon got Rulu. I guess we are supposed to go down. Toll Gator. This lane's carpool only, kid. Come back when you got friends. Ouch. Surprisingly hurtful. Can't do anything there by ourselves.
Okay, so I can't go anywhere. Something like that. He went, he uh, got over his fear of swimming and went off the pier that was at the north side of Dream World. Then we swam through a whole bunch of stuff and now I'm here. Endless Highway. Bumpy, but not all that bad. Come back anytime, kid. I mean, that's a little more than bumpy. He crashed. It's gonna be a uh, one star on the Yelp review. Hey, Amori, there you are. Where have you been, buddy? When well, you were gone, everyone got tricked into signing contracts. So we all have jobs now. And that is the true horror of real life. Having a job. We're growing up so fast. My job is to point people to the last resort. That's where I work. There it is. But I gotta say, this job isn't all it's cut out to be. So why don't we get everyone to quit and get the heck out of here? Hero's been traveling a lot for work lately, but I know for sure that Aubrey's working on the fifth floor of the last resort. We should go find her first. I can't get to those until I get Aubrey. Hey, Mari, look who finally decided to show up. Mari, it's so good to see you again. I thought she left for good. What is it, Amori? Aren't you happy to see your big sister? No, oh, that's just Amori being Amori. You can't blame him for the way he looks. Anyway, as I was just saying, working pays the bills, but it's not very exciting. So, me and Amori are going to get Aubrey and Hero, and then we're going to find Basil? Oh yeah! That's what we're going to do! Always happy to help. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Nah, don't worry about Amari. The boss loves me. We'll be in and out of Last Resort real quick, no problem. Okay, if you say so, Kel. Come on, Amori. Can't wait for you to meet the boss. He's awesome!
Hey, we gotta do joke. What lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches? A nervous wreck. Maybe get some more ramen? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Roger that. I'm- I feel like just because they've done it so many times, like, I know this was a webcomic before it was a game. Is- is ramen in the toilet bowl like a running gag from the comic or something that I'm missing out on? Yeah, Mario just teleports everywhere. Yeah, because it seems like every toilet that we've come across in the dream world, you expect it and you get ramen. Yeah, like every toilet in the dream world, when you inspect it, it gives you ramen. That's what I'm wondering, is that like some kind of inside joke or running gag from the, the webcomic or something? Nutritious candy, sushi, tofu, no, soup, it's a large portion of junk food, questionable gelatin. I am Jash of many talents and master of many trades. How can I help you today? Happy, sad. Okay, so this is basically just all the emotion items. Okay, so if I'm remembering how they work against it, I was, I was always using hash to remember it. So, since I'm always using sad so I can't use stab with a mori, that means that I would need to turn the enemy happy to get the most out of it. And just to take advantage of it with everybody else, I would have to make the entire group sad. Okay, so apparently this When was this? January nineteenth, twenty seventeen. And this game came out I think last year. doesn't seem like a super popular reference, at least as far as I know. Maybe... Like I said, maybe they used it a lot in the webcomic or something. My goodness, what impeccable timing. I seem to have found myself in quite the predicament. I have sent letters to a number of acquaintances asking them to attend this elegant feast of mine. 
But as of the moment, not a single invitee has made an appearance. Not one. This is preposterous. A lesser ghost would be enraged, but my finer senses tell me that they may have simply become lost on the way here. You see, when I sent out my invitations, I had forgotten to include directions to the venue. Being a true gentleman and host, I refuse to start this party until all of my guests have arrived. Would you be so kind as to help my guests find their way here? Sure, why not? Thank you, good sir. Here are some maps with directions to my party, stamped with my own personal top hat, a seal of approval. Please deliver these maps to each of my guests. They will find their way here on their own, surely. Do you have a list of your guests? Yeah, I know, but that's the saying. Like, if they're you, if they're doing it as a joke reference, like, it's not a well-known reference, from what I understand. The only way I could see it being, you know, a, a good running gag for the game is if it was something that the comic latched onto and did a lot. In which case, it's more a reference to the web comic. Well, you have to use it and see now, don't you? It's a new one. Aren't you tired of getting thrown out, kid? Yeah, we try to line it up. Or, you know, easier to see here. I think 30 seconds. 30 seconds is a lot longer than it feels like when I put that in. I'm trying to hold myself in place for it. Um, I'd rather not. That's why I added the sound effect. doing but I came across that little like the little blush thing transparency and I was like yeah I can do something with that and Storm Chupicarp got Makoto from Persona 5 
attracts attention and reduces all foes' hit rate for the turn. That's expensive, though. It should all the time, but I guess sometimes maybe the music of the game will drown it out. But it's set to make the noise every time, it's just a little giggle. They accidentally bumped into one of the staff, so she called me a nincompoop and headbutted me across the room. Who knew headbutt could hurt so bad? I sure didn't. That would be Aubrey. Hey you, yes you there with the stoic expression. Can I interest you in an honest to goodness completely organic bottled water? We're having a liquidation sale. The bottled water could be used for the low, low price of 450 clams. Nah, it's okay. Nah, it's just one of those things where like, you know, since the games always have music playing, sometimes maybe like the music will just hit the right note to where it might drown it out and you don't hear it. I think I booked the wrong bus. This isn't what this place looked like in the advertisement. I'm gonna get myself into this dump. It's just one thing after another this week. Bro told me to wait here, but I don't know if he's coming back anytime soon. You know anyone Mr. named Mr. Jossum? Bro says he got some business with him. We hope you're enjoying yourselves at the last resort. Please let us know if you need anything. Nose goes. Should probably check these people, see if any of them are invited to that party. Hey, you kids here on vacation, you one of the staff. All this construction going on, they can at least invest in some uniforms. Ah, it's nice if I take a break. Are you from the city too? You look like a couple of city kids. Food is good, but the sewage is horrible, am I right? No splashing in the pool, okay? I didn't mean to buy that. It was a hundred juice. It's actually not that bad. Find some butt peaches. I'm um, talking about the world renowned butt peach soda. Yours is only 600 clams now. Love watching my hard earned money go into this machine and never come out. Just watching it all disappear. Yep, that's Vegas. Sick of slots, but there's not much else to do around here. I should just go back to the city.
The pee key is on the toilet. How appropriate. Space. Yeah, that's... P is used, because it's welcome to black space, so the P in the... in space. Okay. be a couple more battles they got me cornered Make it to an elevator. Isn't this a cool elevator? It smells kind of like perfume and smoke. Oh, hi, Mari. Hello, you two. Let's see now. So, if I got this straight, Aubrey is on the fifth floor. Why isn't this working? Oh yeah, I totally forgot. We need a cool key card for this. They took mine away because I kept losing it. I swear they're disappearing on their own though. Let's try looking around the other floors for one. There's gotta be a cool key card around here somewhere.
You have to find a key card to use the elevator. So I guess the question is who has it? Look for a set of stairs. That one's used. Yeah, if it's welcome to black space, then that's not one of the ones that gets used. I mean, the only stairs I see are these, but I don't know if it's talking about these. Okay, here we go. Let's see, I don't see any way to get to the B1, but... It's just supposed to actually use the elevator. It's just the fifth floor that we can't get to, because of course that's the one we need to get to, so it has to be blocked off. I'm Burt Bone. I wouldn't be... Wouldn't be anyone but me. Good for you. Picture of Kel on it where it starts angry in battle. Hmm. Could be 
Is that the only one I have with a... No, Daisy, you start happy. has any that are based off of an emotion. No, he doesn't. I think it's just Omori and Aubrey that have ones that are based off of them having a certain emotion. everything for here. We found a cool key card. We should be able to get to the fifth floor from the elevator now. Let's go find Aubrey. The boss tried to put me to use, but when he realized I couldn't do anything, he told me to be a bed tester. Yep, this bed sure feels good. Apparently this thing is kind of like a easter egg. Although it's not doing what the FAQ says. According to the FAQ, if you do this enough, it starts- there we go. It starts to look like a Mori. Still got two more floors to look into before we go get our Aubrey.
Honestly, I don't mind this place at all. It's not bad at all for being free. Even if the kiddie pool outside is haunted. You decided to come here on a honeymoon because they offered a free room and luxury resort experience. Luxury, my butt. This place is as shoddy as it gets. I can already see the paint coming off the walls. Well, you get what you pay for. My sweet sons are also hard at work. You better not be causing them any trouble. Or else... I'll smack you all the way to tomorrow. Well... Probably smack me all the way to tomorrow, because I have been causing them trouble. It's the Life Jam Man, not to be confused with the Kool-Aid Man. No. Why is it even moving? We're already there. Toilet ramen. Don't mind me, I'm just a lost floating mustache carrying about his day. Well, hold on a second, what do we have here? Rex is the Top Hat's party? Oh, gee, I'd better skedaddle. Party doesn't start until I arrive. Apparently the only reason to come here is there's a joke sign somewhere. Chan is. Just reminds me of Kool-Aid Man more than anything else.
God damn it. You re you actually do need the full four man party to do the release energy. I was hoping it wouldn't have that requirement. used to have me work in the security department, but they said I was too soft. I heard they made Burley head of security. They say she's got a stiff upper lip. Crap, I just realized this makes him happy. This is a bad idea. Maybe I should just come back with Aubrey. Since I need her to break those barrels anyway. Doesn't look like I can even actually get to the joke sign unless I do that. That is Yoko from Lost Dimension.
but Omori? Well, 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 look what we have here. You're trying to talk to the big boss, are you? Sorry to burst your bubble, but I can't just let anyone through here willy-nilly. Aw, oh, man, really? Come on, Burley, we've known each other forever. You can't do us a small little favor. Sorry, Kel, it's boss's orders. Today's a big day, so he doesn't want any disturbances. We got we got a tofu fundraiser to prepare for tonight. But Burley, it's me. Your old friend, Kel. Me and you go way back. Think of all our good times together. Hey, quit it! They made me head of security for a reason. They wanted someone tough, someone who could make the hard decisions. A hard-headed person. Hey, look at my badge. It's so shiny. Hmm. Quick, Kel, think of something fast. Oh, I know. Hey, Burley. Our good friend Amori here is interested in a job. You know the boss never turned down free work. Hmm, that is true, but... Please, Burley, please, 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 please. Oh, all right, I'll let you through this time. But only if you give me some bottled water first. I'm parched. I already have some of that. Pineapples on the pizza. That's definitely not one of the keys I needed for the phrase. Wait, Aubrey is supposed to be on the fifth floor. Where is she? I tried playing Mighty Number no. 9. I could not get into it. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Aubrey! We're here to break you out. Dang it, Kill, go away. Can't you see I'm busy? Snap out of it, Aubrey. This isn't who you are. You know three people canceled their meetings today? Three people! I'm supposed to reschedule them, but I don't even know how that's going to fit with all these useless events planned. Not to mention we have a fundraiser tonight. And of all things, it's a tofu fundraiser. Who in their right mind would pay clams for tofu? I tried telling the boss so many times, but he just won't listen. It's a complete nightmare. Okay, Aubrey, I'm going to need you to breathe. I'm breathing, Kel. I'm breathing just fine. Deep breaths, Aubrey. Deep breaths. You are not a secretary. Basil is missing, and we need to find him. Oh my goodness, that's right! How can I forget? We have to find Basil! Oh, Mori, is that you? He must be here to save me. I'm so happy. Wait, what about me? Amori, you have to get me out of here. We can just leave, Aubrey. The exit is right there. Not that simple, Kel. We signed contracts, remember? Um, 
I got my Mega Man fix from 20XX. Because I, I started playing 20XX right around the time that Mighty Number no. 9 came out. And it was just like, I, I played some Mighty Number no. 9. I was just like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to go back to 20XX. And then there's also the Gunvolt games. I haven't really played any of them, but I, I understand they're pretty much made by one of the teams that used to do Mega Man games. Aubrey, Aubrey, where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for the past 10 seconds. How's that rescheduling going? Sorry, Mr. Jossum, something came up. Hi, Mr. Jossum. Dang it, you again, Kel. I thought we sent you far, far away from here. Didn't I tell you not to leave your post? Well, I came all the way back to person to tell you that I quit. And I'm bringing Aubrey with me. Very funny. My office, Kel. Now. I'll send him in right away. You too, Aubrey. Dang it, Kel, you're going to get me fired. I know, isn't it great? Come on, let's go. Mr. Jocelyn's office is right up this elevator. Hmm. Now, I don't know if this is going to trigger anything, so let's go back and do that fourth floor first. Really, I liked it. But then I also I also have like roguelikes. about finished with our tribute to our employee of the century. Look at me making statues and stuff. I never thought I could actually do it, but the boss always believed in me. Actually. Can put that one on her that makes her... Yeah, so she starts angry in battle. I'll change her skills to the ones that do better when she's angry.
Well, considering it's a casino and the way they're dressed, I think it's more supposed to be like a uh, mob. Pressure blast was sent to do handiwork, but management bad, predicting fall of empire. There's no R. Wait, so where was the joke board? There's supposed to be a joke board. I miss it somewhere? see one anywhere, but there was supposed to be a joke board in there, according to the FAQ.
got that. Finally here. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Hmm. Alright, kids, let me lay this down for you. As the contract states here, you have agreed to work for me, for better or for worse, without pay, for the rest of your life. Now, a contract is a promise. And you wouldn't break a promise, would you? Shoot, he's right. Can't break a promise. What do we do, Aubrey? Mr. Johnson? It's true that we did make a promise to you. We also promised each other that we'd find our friend Basil together. Uh, yeah, that's right. That means you have to let us go. I guess I can respect that. A promise is a promise. Aubrey, I'll let you leave. But you have to take Kel with you. Really? Wow, well, thank you, Mr. Johnson. You're too kind. Awesome, let's go! Wait, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, can we bring my brother Hero with us too? You really are a funny kid, Cal. You want me to give you Hero? That's rich. Rich, I tell ya. Hero is fins down the best worker I've ever hired in my life. His very presence increases my work output by 700%. I'd be a fool to let go of a worker like him. Hey, Mr. Johnson, I just finished setting up the tofu fundraiser like you asked. The tables are set, the room is decorated, the toilets are clean, and the food tastes spectacular, if I do say so myself. I also cleaned your windows, mopped your floors, fed your pets, organized your sunglasses collection, and folded your laundry. Oh, and here's your coffee. Just thought you'd enjoy that. See, kids? Amazing work, Hero. Just amazing. I might even consider paying you one of these days. Really? That would be an honor, sir. Oh, hey guys, what are you doing here? Are you looking for a job too, Omori? Hero, what happened to you? Don't tell me that you even forgot about Basil. Oh shoot, that's right, we need to find Basil. How could I forget something so important? What are we doing here? We gotta go right away! Whoa there, hero. Not so fast. You've still got unfinished work to do. You're supposed to usher in all of our VIPs to the fundraiser tonight. Mr. Jossum, I'm sorry, but with all due respect, the Tofu fundraiser can wait. <laughs> My feelings are hurt, hero. You haven't forgotten about our contract, have you? Well, I... Forget the contracts. Basil needs us. We have to go, hero. Don't listen to her, hero. Why would you? You didn't even sign a contract with her. I don't listen to Aubrey because we have a contract. I listen to her because she's my friend. Sorry, Mr. Johnson. My friends are more important than a measly piece of paper. Measly piece of paper? You disrespect me, boy. I take you in. Young and with no experience, and I turn you into the ultimate employee. You'd be nothing if it wasn't for me. Punishment for breaking a contract is death. I'll teach you to respect your superiors. Boys, would you be so kind as to show these kids the way out?
these kids gone, you understand? The gator guy who runs them out gets free pizza. On me. It's impossible. Yep, it did. That's pretty much the line in this for just um, hitting a crit. that heal juice for everybody, do I? Yeah, there we go. Melon smoothie. 80 for everybody. Oh, that's every like hitting them right in the heart that's just the like you you scored a crit line
I don't know, man. If you've ever been hit, like, a, if someone's ever, like, tried to check you in basketball and it just hits you full force in the chest, that can hurt. That's pretty much what I imagine happening. anything that ups my speed, is there? Um, not really. Because if I could get Omori to go first, then I can... I want him either to go first or last, so that I can use a team attack to either kill the gators, and then have everybody else attack the shark, or have everybody else kill the gator, and then use a team attack on the shark. Because he doesn't take any damage while there's a gator out. Damn, he's almost dead anyway. I just need to get one more shot through. I'll use it to kill the gator, and then the attack from Aubrey ought to be able to finish off the boss. He's just got a tiny bit of health left. You let yourselves be foiled by a bunch of children? What did I even hire you for? contract. That's enough. Stand down, man. We're getting nowhere like this. I gotta admit, you kids are pretty strong. 
that doesn't matter now. You wasn't the only ultimate employee in my workforce. I have but one other. You can come in now, Pluto. Pluto, it's me, Kel. Don't you recognize us? We're your friends. Sorry, Kel. This is nothing personal. It's just business. Let's see how you do against the strength of a former planet. Pluto, show these kids your true power. Right away, sir. Sorry, everyone. This is the end of the road for you. Behold, this is my final form. Can you feel the heat? At least it looks like they healed us. Kinda looks more like uh, Final Form Frieza Pluto, actually, now that I think about it. Impressive progress, young Kel. Your flex has improved greatly. stronger, but so have I.
Picks up the earth and slams it into everyone. died before I could do the the team attack. And I even had everybody else do stuff that wouldn't hurt him. Well done, children. You've come a long way. But I am not finished yet. Mori learned Stare. Aubrey learned Mash. Hero learned Enchant. Check with those dudes later. Yeah, the soundtrack is really good. All really gotten stronger. I'm so proud of you. But even still, I have a job to do, and I plan on finishing it. Brace yourselves, children. This is the definition of power. When I flex. I feel my best. All right, all right, break it up, break it up. Cool it, Pluto. I'm already losing one ultimate employee today. I don't want to lose two. But sir, I can defeat them. Just give me a little more time. Don't sweat it, Pluto. I ain't risking any more assets today. Just get out of here. You've all been nothing but a pain in my tail anyway. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. Yeah, yeah. There's really nothing I can do to get you to stay, huh? It's a pity. Could have reached your true potential here. Mr. Jossum, before we go, I just wanted to say that even after kidnapping all my friends and tricking us into signing an ambiguous contract, I sometimes still thought of you as a pretty decent guy. Hero, this might come as a surprise to you, but I always thought of you as the son I never had. I know you do some great things out there. Now get lost already. Can't you see I'm busy? Thanks again, Mr. Jawson. Alright everyone, now that we're all together again, we can continue the search for Basil. It's been a long journey, but I just know that we'll find him. As long as we don't give up. You're right, Hero. We're almost at the finish line. I can feel it. Wait for us, Basil. We'll find you in no time at all. Now that's the dedication I like to see. Go get him, me crazy kids. Oh, right. Before I forget, Amori, take this. Mr. Jawson gave it to me so I could get around the last resort faster. There, now all the elevators should run faster. Just a warning though, sometimes it gets bumpy.
Oh, so who's the replacement? Hey, I'm Mira. I'm new here. back high five everyone so does anyone remember how we ended up here you know I had the strangest dream there we were all of us falling down an endless black hole then next thing I know I'm signing my life away through a contract you know what they say it sure is strange where life takes you so what are we doing again we were looking for basil or something right Yes, that's right, Kel. We were looking for Basil. Hmm. Do you think Basil could be somewhere in the last resort? No way! Basil wouldn't be caught dead here. Does he seem like the type of person who would enjoy things like this? I don't know, does he? Why don't we just go around and ask if anyone have they seen him? Good thinking, Kel. Though I guess we are pretty far away from home. I don't think anyone here would know what he looks like. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we all draw a picture of him? Maybe people will be able to recognize him from the drawing. You two are full of good ideas today. That sounds like a plan. Cool, I'll start. Um, what is that? That looks nothing like Basil. Basil's hair is more like this. Hmm, no way. That doesn't look right either. Hey, what are you doing in my masterpiece? And when did Basil have such a big nose? Alrighty, let's see how we're doing. Eesh, is that really what Basil looks like? Uh, I can't look. Well, that didn't go so well. Don't be so down, Aubrey. We can just look for Basil ourselves. Yeah, it'll be okay. There's plenty of places we haven't looked yet. Hmm. Why don't we start searching around the deep well? You can get there pretty easily by taxi. There's always one in front of last resort. I guess it'd be a weapon for Kel, wouldn't it? Let's see what this says. Thank you. 
Really have three friends? Alright, alright. Let's get a move on, people. So basically, it, from from what I'm hearing, this is like the last part, like last chance we have to get all the keys for the hangman thing. But I don't know what the hangman thing actually does or grants you if you finish it. Hey, isn't that sweetheart? Hey, sweetheart, remember us? We're the kids who almost ruined your wedding. What are you for, kid? Why do you keep showing up? So, how's married life treating you? Ha! Huh. Married life is a joke. I ended relations with that pitiful excuse of a captain a long time ago. But your wedding was literally yesterday. I don't know. Does that mean that you and Space Husband are... Hmm, he's Space Ex-Husband now, for all I care. Ouch, that poor guy. Alas, my journey has gone full circle. It is more obvious to me now than ever that my perfect suitor does not exist. Don't say that, sweetheart. I'm sure your soulmate is out there somewhere. Oh, my sweet hero. How I've longed for your voice. But no, I must refrain. I've already decided my path. Searching for a suitor is much too old-fashioned for me. So I've decided that I will simply just make one. What? Make a suitor? Is that even possible? By regular people means no. But a wealthy person such as myself does not abide by such rules. I'm going some place only filthy rich people like myself can afford. To a family of sea witches that specialize in clients with special demands. Toodaloo, peasants. I'm late for my appointment. So, should we follow her? Or what? I feel like every time Sweetheart shows up, something bad happens. Yeah, when it comes to disaster, she's in a league of her own. That's right, a bunch of them have new skills that I haven't checked out yet.
Both targets here over one turn and becomes happy. Makes swimming easier yet harder, defense increases with more energy. Dream World Aubrey is. Real World Aubrey has issues. But it is that time. It's about. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my break, and then uh, when we come back, we'll continue this. I guess I'll go ahead and get the other keys for the Hangman game, because like I said, I have no idea what it affects or what it gives you. And I don't want to miss it if it has something to do with the, the good ending. So I guess I'll just follow the, follow the FAQ from this point and do what it tells me to. But anyway, I'll be back in five.
All right, I'm back. Want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. Okay, I'm thinking that construction site inside the hotel, they were confusing the jerk thing for being in there when it was actually out here. Okay, that must be a special property of the weapon, because the weapon he just got was the shucker. Like, a muscle is, I guess, kind of like a clam, so the shucker would obviously, okay. This is new random encounter music, isn't it? Friends, it's good to see you. Lovely weather, isn't it? You look very strong, and I want to become strong just like you. Will you help train me? I'll do my best. Wow, my first battle. Here I come. seeing anything about this guy in the FAQ. Because we're supposed to train him, so I don't know if that means just beat him, or do we have to let him hit us for a while? Battles are harder than they look. I gotta try harder. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Thank you. 
Okay, please stop. That's enough. Yeah, you really know your stuff. As a token of my gratitude, have this coffee. My friend gave it to me. I will now go into this dangerous looking cave to train my mind and body. The next time we meet, I will be much stronger. I didn't mean to use that again. I keep forgetting that it doesn't reset to like normal attack. It remembers what the last thing you did was. Mermaid. Checks out. Weakness lies in giving up. Shot him.
Tail Learned Rally. Kel becomes happy, Kel's friends recover some energy and juice.
Mori learned exploit. What does that do? It gives extra damage to a happy, sad, or angry foe. Cow Farms is where we're supposed to go next. Fresh and chunky sea cow milk. Doesn't sound appetizing. Hey there, partner. Around these parts, I'm known as a sea cow farmer. You just call me Jim. Farm has been a family business that's been going on for generations. The upkeep ain't so easy, all the land being overrun by squizzards and all. I'll tell you what, all those dang squizzards running around, it's a miracle this farm is still standing. If only there was someone who could help me get rid of those darn squizzards. I'd pay anything. Hey, you know what? I just had a brilliant idea. If y'all don't mind getting rid of some slimy, stinky squizzards, I'd happily employ your services for some clams. I know it ain't much, but it's all I got. Can't have no peace here with all those darn squizzards running around. There's some pretty hardcore adult games on Steam. A 
I'll relearn beatdown. Back to foe three times. Okay, so that's just her. What do I even get rid of, though? I guess I could stop using headbutt since that hurts her, too. Also means I should take off the item she's got on. Give her back her Nokia cell phone. Christmas themed. Oh, that's practically heresy. That still, that still makes me laugh. It's a rock! It's like, no, that's not a rock. Rocks don't have veins. rock veins it's like yeah there's like more when it's a certain mineral or precious metal but even then this I mean this rock was very clearly it had like veins on it like it was very clearly a testicle You know, I've never bothered looking into that. Is that how you get Steam trading cards? Is it just playtime in the game? 
Like, you don't actually have to do anything? I have always kind of wondered about that. Well, you're supposed to collect sets, like if you get all the trading cards for one game, it gives you like experience points so that you can level up your Steam profile, it's basically just, you know, a number on your profile for bragging rights. And as far as I know, you can, like whenever you do get Steam trading cards, you can kind of put them on like the Steam market and people will buy them for like a couple of cents here and there. I've done that before, like, where I just one day sit there and put all of my cards for sale, like, a cent underneath what they're currently selling for just to get them, people to buy them. And then it'll usually get me like a dollar off, like, I'll usually have like a dollar and change out of that off for my next game that I buy. I don't think it's really worth the effort for the amount of money you get back. Like, honestly, the amount of time that it takes just to set them all individually to sell and look up what price to sell them for and everything, like... I think the time that that takes up is worth more than the actual money you get out of it. Here. If I go up in here to heal, are they all going to respawn? Yep, they all respawned. God damn it. Alright, so we have to take them all out without actually healing.
max first, all heroes target hero for one turn, hero takes less damage. Nah, I'll just keep him with all the healing skills. I will keep that in mind. Like, so far everybody has a skill that makes them be targeted and does something, but... I guess there is that one accessory that I have that, like, massively ups their stats while lowering their HP and MP. That might be something. And then just always have somebody else use one of those skills to make sure they don't get targeted. Doing this, we are gaining a lot of a lot of levels. Makes Kel happy. If Sad was removed, Kel gains flex. It's very situational. Like I'd have to know that the enemy was going to make him sad, or that I was going to make him sad. Namalala. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. This game has a really good soundtrack. And it changes up the music pretty often. Like, it's not just the same battle track throughout the whole game or anything. Thank you. So how's work been? Go on vacation or just relaxing? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got mine back in April, but I haven't really had any side effects with it. What are you getting?
And is it the, um... Pfizer? That's the one I got. Yeah, I got the Pfizer too, and like I said, I got mine... I got my my first one mid-March and my, my second one first week of April. And other than just, like, soreness on my arm, I didn't really have any side effects. medication there's always going to be like that tiny percent of pe percentage of people that have a bad reaction to it i mean truthfully any, even food you're always going to have that tiny percentage of people have a bad reaction to it they're allergic So that's all of them except for that spinny one in the bottom corner that I couldn't attack before. I might have to do that one last. All attacks and flow will hit right in the heart for the turn. It's actually not that bad, but that's expensive. There are less wizards causing trouble around these parts. You kids are really doing your fair share of work. Here's some plans for your efforts. Go on and get something nice for yourself. 9,000. I guess they just never actually go away. We just had to kill a certain number of them.
To all those lost lovers out there, this one is for you. I just realized that whoever wrote this FAQ doesn't know their right from their left. Because I just read a whole thing about saying how go to the right, go to the construction site, and just keep going to the right. Except it's all left. Friends, it's good to see you again. Lovely weather, isn't it? I have become much stronger since the last time we met. Will you help me test my abilities? Sure. I'll do my best. Taught myself some skills since our last battle. You'd better watch out. I'm awesome! I can do follow-up sc follow skills too, watch this! days I'll be as strong as you. Okay, please stop. That's enough. Thanks, I feel much stronger now. As a token of my gratitude, have this coffee. My friend gave it to me. I will now walk across this dangerous looking bridge to hone my skills to perfection. Next time we meet, I will be even stronger.
Aubrey learned last resort. That's the area we just got out of. Deals damage based on Aubrey's heart, but Aubrey becomes toast. Yeah. No suicide bombing for us. Reduces all foes' attacks and make them happy. I do like that, but I guess I can replace fast food with it. Again. Lovely weather, isn't it? My mind and body are in perfect harmony. I've learned the ultimate skill. I think this deserves another test. Don't you agree? Do my best. Oh, he's getting the official boss treatment now. I bet I'm almost as strong as you now. You'd better take this seriously. who can use emotions? Oh, I had already made him happy.
And now it's time for my ultimate skill! Kill him? There it is. Clear bridge stretches across the trench. Do you want to cross it? Yes. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would have really liked it here. Basil, you would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah, I'm sure he would have. Huh? What is it? Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Why do you ask that, hero? Let's see here. Basil. Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. And even when he's upset, he'll always manage a smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. That's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. That doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil is our friend. More importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for way too long. But I'm sure we'll find him, so long as we have Amori to keep us on track. All this time, Basil's been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. And when we're all together again, we should all give him a big ol' hug. It's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. Me and Kel? Get along? What are you talking about, hero? Stop being weird. 
relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together soon. Time has passed since you have ventured this far. Deeper layers of this world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Even imagination is limited. You have questions that I can answer, answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose. I would like to know more about your lost friend. The friend you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. He is special to you. The string of fate ties you two together. You cannot leave that place alone. To retrieve him, you will have to remove yourself as well, but in a way that is natural for this world. For headspace. This journey is nearing its end. You already know what you have to do, dreamer. You would like to know more about the big yellow cat, yes. Before this world was created, there existed three great creatures. The oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. The oldest is alive, but not the same as he once was. Age has removed his conscience, and he has evolved into a parasite within himself. He lives here, just beyond this cavern. The wisest, against her reason, committed an act that opposed the dreamer's will. It is an act that is not even known to me. As a result, she was stripped of her wisdom and banished to isolation. A special prison somewhere deep, deep down. The last and favorite, the big yellow cat, was chosen to watch over the dreamer's most precious room. He remains the dreamer's favorite even to this day, watching diligently, waiting for something to happen. I'd like to know more about white space. To be in white space is to be nothing. White space is emptiness, a home without warmth, a place to survive but not to live. Even still, your conscience cannot be erased. It will always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form, and if one wills it, something will be formed to subdue it. A hanging black light bulb. The repression of an idea. Yes, perhaps it is time to admit that you are a human, dreamer. You have listened well. I have granted you knowledge, but know that I can also grant you power here. 
There is a challenge that will aid you greatly in this world. It is simple without thought, and if you succeed, it will be gone as well. I offer you this sacrifice. Will you take this opportunity? I understand. Stand very still, Dreamer. Red juicy apple hangs from this tree. Would you like to eat the apple? It's a very happy looking whale. Well, hello there, friends. The name is Humphrey. What brings you here to my humble little cave? Oh, hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Sorry for bothering you. No, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you are a second group to visit me today. First was just a girl. A very loud girl with a big red bow. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Huh? Is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? It's on top of my tongue. That's a joke, it is. She is inside me, you see. She's inside you? Why, oh, yes. She is visiting my guest, for I am also home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together, chatting and chuckling. It is so fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they're even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. My apologies. The first guest seems to be causing some indigestion. Humphrey's belly is huge. It sure looks easy to get lost in here. I bet if I yell, it'd make an echo. Echo, echo. Ah, where'd you come from? Welcome to my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I am always here. I am inside me and all around. I'm everywhere. 
Or I am just here. Wow, that's so cool, Humphrey. Wish I could do that. Kind of gross, if you ask me. Wow, so rude. Hmm. There aren't many ways to go. Where should we even start? Left, right, up, around. Doesn't matter. It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one. It's easy. section. This is a this is a long ass area. But we do need it to get the keys. Alright, let's get started. See how much of it Oh crap, I just realized I don't I don't know if I'll have access to a save. Okay, we can get back out. There's a save here. Yeah, because I've only got about 40 minutes left, so I want to make sure I have access to a save, because, like I said, this section is going to be long. my things again? Well, not this time. I prepared something extra special for you today. As you know, I'm a very busy person, but alas, you are my sister. I will grant you access to my room if you're able to solve my little gift. Hope to see you soon, darling. If you're still alive, that is.
I'm not even sure what I was supposed to be doing there. I just followed the, the FAQ. Puzzle memorization hard. Final strike, that sounds interesting. Though it looks like it's not his actual final skill. F costs 50, strikes all foes, deals more damage when Mori has a higher stage of emotion. waterfall colors we're supposed to go by, so it was blue, green, red, white. Choice difficulty medium.
It's a carnivorous watermelon, which is this game's version of a mimic. Water mimic, yep. So none of this is part of the puzzle yet, I just need to make it to the end to get to the puzzle. of every child's existence, the wearer starts sad in battle. Hey, look, this camera's taking live footage of us. Say cheese. Ah, oh, we look so cute. Almost makes you wish we had a camera. Yeah, don't worry. We have loads of pictures of us, don't we? We have pictures of us? Where? But only when we least expect it. What are you talking about, Kel? Something special about everyone living their own lives. Um, you're being kind of weird. Huh? Hmm. Nah, never mind. It's probably nothing. Let's keep moving forward. We gotta figure out the solution to these puzzles. That bomb could blow any second.
Which one changes these? Oh, okay, I think I get it. That's assuming, of course, that that, telepa that teleporter takes us two ways. Nope, it doesn't. So much for that idea. Molly told us to write lettuce in our back and stand in this order. At least I think it was this order. Pretty sure I'm supposed to switch places with the one on your right. When I say you're right, I mean you as in the person standing in front of me, not some hypothetical observer watching us from behind the screen. This must be for one of Molly's crazy puzzles again. That girl loves to play games too much. If she would just focus, she could probably do so much good for the world. And it's a good thing I checked before writing this M, or else I would have almost written, un written another B. That would have been pretty bad, huh? Okay, so if these two are supposed to switch, that means it's B and yeah, it's boom. How long is this going to take? I don't have all day. My work takes patience. Stop talking, darling. I need to concentrate. How about now? Almost done, darling. And finished. At last. My greatest invention is complete. Now speak! Speak, my beautiful robot! Oh, well that doesn't sound right. Something must be off with the code. Because you made me rush my work. Instead of no... Instead of to love, it must now be programmed. To kill. Hm. Don't blame this on me, she's your robot. Thanks to you, my hopes of finding true love have been shattered. You've disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off. My, what a handful. Well, she's not my problem now. Ah, 
I almost forgot. That girl, she owes me payment. I must catch her again before she leaves. Now we go top. Thought that might have been something. Like a job for Aubrey. not currently seeing anyone right now, but if you're enjoying the exhibit, feel free to crawl into a cage and wait for the next available experiment. You will know when the screaming stops. I am Marina's first experiment. She made me out of sand and fruit when she was just a baby. This sprout mole question mark has a laser? Marina's second experiment. She made me out of clay and rocks when she was just a baby. Betting is cool, but I like handshakes better.
There's a new save over here at least. And for some reason I'm dropping frames. trying to download anything right now, is it? It's not mine. Nope. Third experiment. She made me out of a rubber glove when she was just a toddler. Who did that? Show yourselves. Seeing as how I all of a sudden I'm dropping frames like crazy, I think I may just end a little early here. Let me just save so I can pick up here next week. I'm about to finish if you just want to wait a few more minutes. Josie just showed up. But yeah, I think we'll go ahead and just continue this next week. Like I said, my connection is suddenly not stable at all. Fine, come here. Ah, oh, you just had to move my camera, didn't you? Yeah, I'm even looking at my bit rate right now and it's just dropping constantly. Guess we'll just finish up with Kitty Break and then I'll look for someone to someone to raid.
But yeah, it looks like we're getting close to the end. I don't know how long the last chapter is, but maybe one, two more sessions we should be done. Probably two. No, nope, they're not sponsoring me. But yeah, because as far as I know, all we have to do is finish off this section inside the whale, and then make another slight detour, and then we have all the stuff for the uh, for the hangman thing. And then I think we're into the last chapter. I don't know how long it'll be, which is why I say one, maybe two. No, oh, maybe probably, probably two, two more sessions, two more weeks. We'll be done with this game. Oddly enough, now that I'm not playing the game anymore, it seems like my connection stabilized, but I already shut it down. And I've got other obligations right now. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, tomorrow, same time, 2 a.m. Central Standard Time, we'll be continuing with Golden Sun. And it'll be that for the rest of the week, or at least until we finish it. And then after that, I pretty much said that we're going to stop. We're going to stop pushing it back. We're finally going to get to Lost Odyssey. And once I start playing Lost Odyssey, the redemption will go up. Someone can pick the game after that. And whenever that's done, I'm assuming it'll already have been out for a little while, but probably do Tales of Arise. As for Monday morning games, I said we probably got two more weeks of this, and then do Bladed Fury, which I don't think is that long. I think that's maybe two, three weeks tops. Because that's more of an action game than anything else. Inspired, They say it's inspired by Muramasa. But it's more of an action game. And once we're done with that, Mondays will be devoted to trying to get the good ending on Fuga. Which basically means trying to save Brits. He was the only... He was the only thing really that stopped me from getting the best ending was that he didn't have enough relationships with the crew to stop him from defecting. So he ended up having to be killed. That put us on the path for the normal ending and we had to sacrifice someone to beat the final boss. So basically we just have to save Brits and we'll have the best ending. Kitty's done. And like I said, oddly enough, as soon as I stopped playing the game, my connection leveled off. I don't know what was causing that. But I've already closed down the game. So I'm committed to ending stream now. 
Let's give call outs to who was here. Uh, Irby, Namalala, Ragna, eighteen milliliters, Wabon, Snorchupicarp, the Red Pony, and my roommate popped in for a very little bit at the very beginning. Wesju, thank you all for coming in and chatting with me while I play. Um. Thank you to anybody else who may have been lurking and watching. Always appreciated. And as I said, let me go ahead and find someone to raid. Let's go ahead and raid Kazi. Since I just finished Fuga, he is now playing Valkyria Chronicles. Just uh let's keep let's keep the tank theme going. As per usual, let's go ahead and jump in, say hi. Hope to see you all next time, and until then. Bye bye everybody!